Alright, so Volume 2 of I'm Not a Succubus came in, and I'm going to be talking about that, but more importantly, the mug I've been waiting for came in with it. It's always important to keep eye contact. Makes it weird. Alright, so I left off Volume 1 feeling kind of underwhelmed by the entire thing. It, it felt, um, just weird. I didn't like the whole lying plot of... Sakura pretending to be a succubus, that, that wasn't fun. And that's not a problem here. Um, obviously the lie's still going on, but as I thought, now that she has this kind of conspiracy with the actual succubus, it's not really brought up that it's a lie too much. It's just a thing that's accepted that she's a succubus. So we don't really dwell on Sakura being too nervous about it all the time. So plus there. The problem is that it's kind of boring. And the thing is, there's not anything intrinsically bad about this. In fact, I can talk about its good points way more. Like I said in the first video, I like the details, the world building, the little facts and trivia about Monster Girls that pop up, like how the ears of a centaur relate to how they're feeling about another person. And just overall history facts. There's a lot of history nerd in this manga. And it shows through. Like Sakura herself, major history nerd. And there's a lot of talk about monster girls in the past and major points of history. So it does show that monster girls and humans have always been intertwined. And the character interactions, they're, they're good. They evolve naturally and satisfactory. I have no real complaint about how it goes. Like the first two chapters focus on Sakura and Chisato. And Chisato doesn't really care for Sakura. She's very uh, wound tight, as it were. But she does end up opening up to her and they work together for this centaur ritual and it's very well done but at the end of the day I just kind of don't care and let's be fully honest here that is probably just me again I can't think of overt flaws in this manga yeah there's things that people won't like obviously and I'm not the biggest fan of the art style, like the faces are cute, but the proportions look weird. But on a technical level, the story is doing fine. But at the same time, that might just be it. It's only fine. It's no Monster Musume with high grade high slapstick. It, it just kinda is. Thinking about it, it's kind of like the um, feeling I got from Squid Girl. I liked Squid Girl well enough, but again, it was just fine. It was just, it just kind of existed, and I didn't hate it for existing, but I didn't love it for existing either. I'm kind of at that level with this. Though I will give this manga the chops for attempting to mix sentimentality with basically pornography. Like, who would have guessed that you could give oral in a wholesome Wait, that's not right. That doesn't sound right. Do not take me on that. It's not wholesome at all. It's weird. It's weird that they tried to make that wholesome. I don't know why I tried to spin that positively. It's just no. No, I can't be that positive all the time. I try to be with this channel. I cannot be positive with that. That is weird and very disturbing. And then she swallowed the egg. I don't know. So with that... I'm not sure if I'm going to be continuing this manga, but I don't hate it. So if there's a, an ask for it, even a small ask for it, that I continue with volume three and so on, I'll do it until I actively start hating it. I'm still in that position where I'm good to go ahead, but I will not do so of my own accord. Anyway, with that, what do you think of I'm Not a Succubus Volume 2? Leave a comment down below. I'm very interested to find out. Let me know if I should continue reviewing the next volume. I'm gone. I'm still trying to comprehend the oral. It's just snow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time in the void. Later.